they don't get about figure skating is how you can spin that much and not vomit. <laughs> well, they vomit before they go out there. That's how they fit in the costumes. <laughs> oh, Ooh. that had to hurt. And judging by the look on her mother's face, she's going to take quite a beating for it. <laughs> and now, the Olympic snacks begin the final leg of their journey from the Greek place downstairs. <laughs> Two in paper bags, the official food transport device of the Winter Olympics. <laughs> and now, she's giving her husband a kiss, the official sign of affection of the Winter Olympics. Well, you look at that lip action, Jane. They make it seem so simple, Pete. That's the hours of practice, Jane. I'm starting to feel a little creepy about watching them, Pete. And you're alone on that one, Jane. <laughs> One of the Canadian skaters got her skirt caught in her braces, and, and Pete cried during the phone commercial. <laughs> Excuse me for having a pulse. Oh. oh, look, it's the official father-in-law of the Winter Olympics. Uh, Dharma, the Olympics go on for two more weeks. You might want to pace yourself. Uh, Dad, what are you doing here? It's terrible. Just terrible. What's terrible? Read this. The American Association of Retired Persons congratulates Kitty Montgomery on her 50th birthday and invites her to join the millions of seniors still leading vital, productive lives. Uh, all right, uh, Dharma, uh, my father lives with us now. Your mother is having a birthday and you didn't say anything about it? Well, because technically my mother doesn't have a birthday and it was very, very wrong of these people to accuse her of having one. She shouldn't be upset about this. Someone should reassure her that she's entering the best time of her life. I tried lying. She doesn't buy it. <laughs> well, I'm going to go talk to her. No, no, no. no do, don't do that. Craig, someone has to reassure her that she's entering the age of wisdom, an age when the woman becomes a revered elder of the tribe, no longer looked at as a sexual object. Oh, good. Start with that. <laughs> Mrs. Montgomery, there are some people here to wish you happy birthday. Should I call the police? <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, dear God, that's... Kitty Montgomery, we're here to welcome you to the three stages of womanhood. We enter the world unsteady, unsure, innocent lambs, chaste and pure. <laughs> The years pile on like precious coins. We give birth to children, the fruit of our loins. <laughs> we menstruate no more, our children are grown. Welcome, dear kitty, to the life of a crow. <laughs> Get out of my house! <laughs> ridiculous about it, Kitty. Come on, you get a sweet 16. You have a wedding, so why not celebrate this passage into the final years of your life? Yeah, because otherwise, the next big party you're going to get is a funeral. <laughs> and, you know, we'll have more fun at that than you would. I mean, well, not fun. <laughs> but, you know, we'll get to eat and drink, and we're not, you know, dead. <laughs> what we're trying to say, Kitty, is that you really need to commemorate this birthday. Oh, I plan to. Okay. Tonight I'm getting thoroughly soused, and tomorrow I'm getting plastic surgery. What? You? How can you alter your body? It's God's temple. Is it? With Milton Shapiro. God's plastic surgeon. <laughs> so, let me show you girls out. Kitty, Kitty, I know we don't often see eye to eye, but even so, we're sisters. Splendid. Then our children are cousins, and the marriage is annulled, and out you go. No, 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 oh. no. I won't let you do this, Kitty. You've, you've earned your wrinkles and your sagging breasts. They're badges of honor. <laughs> let me. <laughs> Kitty, don't do this. Because you are so beautiful just the way you are. Although you can't go wrong with big boobs. Guys love big boobs. Jane! The bigger the better. Jane! And while you're at it, maybe get your butt done, too. You think so? Let's see. Drop your slacks. We'll do the pencil test. Jane! <laughs> Dharma, uh, 
Abby, you... <laughs> Believe me, I, I, I appreciate your coming and what you're trying to do, but what I really need now is just to be alone. You understand. Look, how about this? Kitty, give us one hour. If we haven't changed your mind by then, we'll drive you to the surgeon ourselves. No. Well, would you rather we follow you to the hospital, stage a protest, and let everyone in San Francisco know you're having your butt talked? <laughs> one hour. Yeah! All right. Okay, so now let's all get to know each other better as women. All right. Kitty, which of the three kinds of orgasms do you most often have? <laughs> oh, you better be making this up. <laughs> Right. That's a touching commercial. A young boy calling his father to come home and play catch with him. You can see why they are the official long distance carrier of the Winter Olympics. <laughs> if you want to cry about a commercial, cry about the guy stuck in Japan with nothing but his American Express card. <laughs> hey, Larry, what are you doing here? Well, Abby was supposed to cook lunch for me and she's not home. Yeah, so? I'm hungry. Oh, come in. We got uh, hummus and uh, stuffed grape leaves, the official stuffed leaf of the Winter Olympics. Righteous. Hey, Larry. Hey, guys. Hey, fellas. Who do we like in the woman's giant downhill slalom? The biggest, fattest one. <laughs> uh, I don't believe in the Olympics. Of course you don't, Finkelstein. No need to explain. <laughs> the so-called Olympics. Oh, Judas. <laughs> Uh, nothing but a profit-making scheme perpetrated by the military-industrial complex to inflame mindless nationalistic fervor. That's a bunch of hooey. Hey, look at that. Our hockey team has knocked the crap out of Ecuador. <laughs> hey, how do you keep this list? <laughs> Under no circumstances am I going to do that. Okay, fine. Well, we can look inside ourselves without literally looking inside ourselves. Okay. Let's everyone go around the circle and each say what you love about yourself. Jane, you go first. Okay. I really love my peaches, and I'm fully capable of shaking my own tree. Yeah. I hope that yeah. doesn't mean what I think it does. It means that I can make... Never mind. Okay, I'm Abby. Gone. Okay. Um... Well, I also really love my peaches. And, uh, well, especially since this is the first time in about 600 years that I've reincarnated as a woman. What does that yeah. mean? <laughs> well, that usually I've had a penis. <laughs> All right, could we just move this along? I'm sobering up. Okay. Um, okay. I really love that I'm not afraid to try new things. That's true. Yeah, like the other night when Greg and I were in bed. Um, well, actually, I was in bed. He was half on the bed, half on the dresser. Would you mind, Madonna? <laughs> I'm his mother, you know. Well, then you should be very proud. <laughs> okay, Kitty, you're next. Um, I love that I'm rich. No, okay, Kitty. There's got to be something about yourself, about who you are as a person. I love that I'm a rich person. <laughs> Kitty, you know, all this wealth could be gone tomorrow. Oh, no, it can't, because we never touch the principal. <laughs> never, never, never. Kitty, no, something from your heart. Something about right. who you are. Well, I love that I'm a people person. <laughs> That's so funny, you're hysterical. <laughs> I was serious. I was deadly serious. Should have looked at her cervix. <laughs> you know, as a good skater, stinky Sonia Henny. You want a skater? James Kahn and Rollerball? Oh. <laughs> they were throwing crap at him and stuff. I mean, that's skating. You throw crap at these kids, they couldn't handle it. Mm. Now, I'll tell you who was a real skater Goofy. <laughs> You ever see Disney on ice? Big head, big feet, didn't slow him down at all. Put a big head on one of these kids, forget about it. Hey, hey, Olympic flame. Right, right, we're gonna run. One, two, one, two three. three. Man, they show that flame a lot. Hey, you 
It's your drinking game. You know, that flame's been burning since ancient Greece. There's nothing like a grease fire. <laughs> now, there's something I'd pay to see. Disney on fire? <laughs> oh, no, more bobsledding. Oh, lame. Flame, flame. Oh, no, 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 no. Lame, 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 not flame. Flame. <laughs> well, you look at that. That's not a real sport. That's just two guys jumping in something that's going to the finish line with them or without them. <laughs> that's just hitchhiking. You know, I used to hitchhike. Took me four days to hitchhike from Saginaw. <laughs> Wasn't that Paul Simon? Huh? I thought it was me. <laughs> lame. Oh, lame. Lame. One, two, three. <laughs> I mean, I could do that. Hitchhike? Bobsled. I mean, anybody could do that. You couldn't do that. You could do that. I could do that. You know, <laughs> we could all do that. Let's do that. What, what, what are we going to do? Like fly to Tahoe, rent a bobsled, and go down a mountain in the middle of the night? Good plan. <laughs> We're so sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you're a people person, Kitty, with, with people that you actually regard as people. <laughs> Your hour is up. Go away. No. Are you still going to have plastic surgery? Pulled, nipped, sucked, and tucked. Kitty, you're an intelligent woman. I don't see how looks can be so important to you. Simple. The world that I grew up in, a woman advanced based on her looks and her courtesy. And frankly, I'm not that courteous. Kitty! <laughs> Kitty! But you look absolutely wonderful! I wish I looked that good, and I'm not even 50 yet. You're younger than I am? Just a little. A smidge. I'm older than the crone! <laughs> okay, what we have here is a big old honking train wreck. We gotta make her feel better about herself as quickly as possible. Jane. What makes a girl feel special? Wearing thong underwear backwards. <laughs> wig night at the officers' club. Oh, hi. What's wig night at the officers' club? Oh, just a little something Jane and I used to do whenever we got dumped. We put oh. on wigs and have Top Gun hard bodies buy us drinks. Emma, that's a horrible artificial way of boosting your self-esteem. <laughs> Sounds good to me. What the hell are we doing? The next flight back's not for another hour, so uh, we might as well get another round here. What made us think we could do that? We were drunk. It was stupid. You're all a bunch of quitters. Hey, I'm not a quitter. It's not your fault, son. It's the way you were raised. You never had to suffer the hard times like I did. I thought you were born rich. Not as rich as he was born. <laughs> Flame! Oh, flame, one, two, three. Excuse me, how do you know how I was raised? You were never around. You weren't around? Where were you? Working with the other fathers. Where were you? Kicking down the cobblestones and feeling groovy. <laughs> Unless that was Paul Simon, too. Admit it. Work was always more important to you. Oh, quit your belly aching. You had everything you wanted. You went to the best schools. You had a pony or a big dog or something. <laughs> you see, you weren't there. Okay. You said we never did anything together. Well, let's do something together right now. Let's find a bobsled and go down that damn mountain. Well, I don't want to do a suicidal thing. I, I want to... <laughs> I want to play catch like the kid in the commercial. You see, it's a touching commercial. 
I want a bobsled. Oh, oh, come on, guys, be realistic. Where are we going to find a bobsled in the middle of the night? What are we supposed to do? Go down to the lake, steal a canoe, and slide down the mountain in that? Good, good plan. plan. All right. Oh. <laughs> it's not a good plan. <laughs> I changed my mind. I can't do this. I, 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 yeah, but, uh, maybe Kitty Montgomery can't, but Wanda Boonshaft can. <laughs> oh, please, I'm not Wanda Boonshaft. Well, well, wait a minute. How old is she? Doesn't matter. Wanda doesn't care. Yes, she's filled with self-confidence. And burning with sexuality. Sounds 42. <laughs> Fine, she's 42. All right, good, good. I'm Wanda Boomshaft at 42. Uh, what do I drink? Oh, I know, wine coolers. <laughs> and um, she'd sleep with anything, right? I'm all. <laughs> we better stay close to her. <laughs> hey, this looks pretty good. You think we can... Stop it before we hit the lake. It doesn't matter. It's a canoe. <laughs> Shotgun. All right, let's go. Now, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it now. Exactly. How are, how are we going to steer this thing? What's the matter, Dad? You want to quit? No, no, no. I, I was just thinking before we do this, we should take a vote to see if we really want to do this thing. What kind of vote? Simple majority, two-thirds, unanimous. You can't just vote. Oh, shut up, Finkelstein. <laughs> hey, don't get angry at me because you didn't play catch with Junior. Hey, listen to me. You're right, I was never around when you were a kid. But killing ourselves now is not going to make that any better. So what you're saying is you want to quit. Fine. I want to quit. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Okay, first give me a hug. What? Why? Because you never hug me, and in the commercial, the kid gets a hug. Give him a hug. I'm sitting in a metal canoe. My boys are freezing. <laughs> I love you, Dad. That's it. I'm switching my long-distance carrier. <laughs> there you go. I think you both deserve a hug. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. I call shotgun. <laughs> you drink, Wanda? Fine, just put your quarter on the bar and wait in line. <laughs> anyway, after my third divorce, I just swore off army guys. Besides, nothing looks as good on a girl as Navy. Yeah! <laughs> Derma, I thought this was a horrible idea, but I must admit I've never seen her look happier. Yep. Shallow problems require a shallow solution. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Can I buy you a drink? Oh, thanks. <laughs> but drinking with sailors is what got me in my current condition. You know what? Maybe you can help me find his papa. He was about your height. He had brown hair. Wait a minute. Drop your pants and sing Lay Down Sally. <laughs> So where are you from, Wanda? I'm not ashamed to say, the poor side of town. Where exactly would that be? I don't really know, but it's gritty and people yell out the windows. <laughs> it must be very difficult to be a Navy pilot. How do you make the boats fly? <laughs> What do you think of the officers club, ma'am? Oh, it's terribly exciting being around all these military men. <laughs> Listen, if you ever come to your senses and want to go AWOL, take this number. I've got friends who can get you to Canada. <laughs> Here, take them all and give them to your platoon. <laughs> oh, 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 I get it. Seamen, 
submarine. Oh, 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 oh. very clever. Very clever. Oh, Wanda, you're so great. You know, you remind me so much of my mother. What? I said, sing, lay down, Sally. I want to get out of here. Now, what happened? You were having so much fun. Oh, that sailor over there said I reminded him of his mother. That one? Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Oh. Hey, you. Come here. Don't. Don't. Yes, ma'am. Son, how old is your mama? Uh, 38. Excuse me. <laughs> well, she just turned 38. I love you. <laughs> I've never loved anyone the way that I love you. Okay, okay, it's time to go now. Well, Belinda, Eunice, we're out of here. <laughs> he said I looked 38. <laughs> oh, with a nip and a tuck, I could look 28. <laughs> Hi. Where you been? Uh, me and the guys uh, flew to Tahoe and went down the mountain backwards in a canoe. Oh, good for you. <laughs> what about you? Eh, we put your mom in a black wig and took her down to the Navy base to party with a bunch of drunk sailors. Good for her. <laughs> what you watching? Two man luge. Doesn't look that hard. We could do that. Definitely do that. Okay, here's a few pointers. A shuttle to Tahoe leaves on the hour. Drink heavily, face forward, and no matter what you might think, a canoe is not just as good. Let's go. Have you seen Eleanor's new facelift? Oh, facelift, please. More like a face launch. <laughs> Kitty, isn't that your daughter-in-law? Oh, yes. Yes, that's Dharma. We gave her a junior membership to the club as an anniversary gift. I will make a Montgomery of her yet. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who's that with her? Your maid? No. Uh, I think it is. And what is her name? Cicely. Celia, and it's not her. Uh -huh. <laughs> you didn't even look. I looked, and it's not her. Dharma! Celia! Oh, God. <laughs> We're shaking, girlfriends. Come, sit, sit. Isn't it wonderful that Dama brought your maid to the country club? <laughs> Is it safe to leave our stuff over at the other table? Fine. Exactly what are you doing here? Lunching at the club, darling. <laughs> Plus, we have a lot of errands to run for Celia's wedding, and this was convenient. You're getting married? Yes. But I'm not taking any time off. <laughs> Wait until you meet her fiance. He is H O T Caliente. Huh? Look who it is. It's my favorite wife yeah. and my favorite mother. And Celia, who Dama brought to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all I need to know. Bye. <laughs> And then the discussion turned to the menu for Celia's wedding, at which point your wife... That's me. <laughs> ...invited the busboy... As a food professional... <laughs> ...to join our table. Well, who else knows better what people eat and what they leave on their plate than a busboy? Oh. <laughs> Gregory, please, would you explain to Dharma why it is inappropriate for her to invite my maid to have lunch at my country club? But first, explain to your mother that her maid is also a human being. Oh, for God's sakes, I know she's a human being. <laughs> Dharma has got to understand it's easier if we maintain separate social lives. Don't you explain anything. I'm not talking to your mother. <laughs> Please, Dharma, I try to respect your life, your values. I don't go among your friends and chop down trees and hand out meat. <laughs> now, am I not right, Gregory? Mother, I really don't... It's awkward. Because you're making it awkward.
Edward, there is no reason why Celia can't be your employee and your friend. The woman obviously does not want to be my friend. Oh, you're upset because she didn't invite you to the wedding. Oh, please, that's ridiculous. Do you two need me anymore? No. No. <laughs> Don't hide your feelings, Kitty. I am not upset. I am surprised. <laughs> the woman has worked for me for, for 15 years. At least she could do is extend an invitation. I'm sure she didn't invite you because she didn't think you'd go, and she didn't want it to look like she was hitting you up for a gift. Oh. Well, I suppose that's possible. You know what? Why don't you go find Celia, tell her that you really care about her and that you would love to share in the joy of her wedding? You know what? I'll do it. I don't want that woman at my wedding. It's supposed to be a happy day. Come on. I'm begging you, Celia. For me. Oh, all right. For you. But you keep that sour puss of her out of my pictures. That's okay. I don't think she shows up on film anyway. And uh, so I will be very honored if you would come to my wedding this Saturday. Really? This Saturday? That's awfully short notice, isn't it? <laughs> She'd love to. Tristan, relieve mas sintomas. Tristan is Tristan in Spanish. Yeah, but it's pronounced Tristan. Ah, Tristan. Tristan. Stop it, both of you. <laughs> Where are we? Well, according to the map, we're on Eisenhower Street, but all the signs say Benito Juarez Boulevard. Juarez! Juarez! Buenos dias, Senor Juarez! I swear I'm going to knock your heads together. Montgomery. Oh, hi, Pete. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I completely forgot. Can it wait till Monday? Excuse me, fellas. Do you know where St. Catherine's Church is? Dama, put that window up. Oh, relax, kitty. Donde esta Iglesia Santa Catherine? Hey, uh, kitty. Dama, we are in a very dangerous neighborhood, and I would prefer not to be on the evening news. Now, just leave that window up. Hey, you put the child lock on. Uh, okay, I'm on my way to a wedding. It's, uh, can you bring the papers there? Great. It's St. Catherine's. It's on the corner of Cesar Chavez and Fourth. Quattro. Last break, guys! Little help! <laughs> I I what's wrong? I... Everything is a mess. The people who were supposed to park the cars, they quit. Why? They thought they heard gunfires and they ran away. Gunfire? It was firecrackers from the Chinese kids. They're taking over this neighborhood. Don't worry about it. Everything will be fine. Greg and I will take over parking the cars. What? Fine, it'll be fun. We get to wear vests. No, 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 Dharma. You are a guest. No, 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 no. Celia, don't worry about it. Go on. Go get married. We'll miss the ceremony. Oh, come on, Greg. This could be our gift to Celia. Well, what about the uh, Sex for Seniors video? <laughs> Give it to your mom. It'll freak her out on so many levels. <laughs> here we go. Hi. I'll take it from here. You're the valet? Well, you don't get one of these vests for juggling taters. <laughs> ah, righty. Gregory, what are you doing? Uh, we're, uh... Valet parking cars, Mother. It's oh. our gift to Celia. For God's sake, say something, Edward. Leave the seat where it is and don't monkey with the radio. <laughs> no, 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 Greg! You can't just hang the key anywhere. There's a system. What's the system? Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. That's not gonna work. Oh, when the people come out, you just see what sign they are and you grab their key. Oh, thank you. Ah, uh, Aries? That's right. You're driving a Taurus. It's a wonder you got here at all. Work near Saturn. It'll help balance them out. Hey, guys. Wasn't that a beautiful ceremony? What are you doing here? We're friends. She invited us. What do you think of our outfits? <laughs> It's a small world after all. 
It's the traditional wedding garb of Celia's country. Well, it's almost traditional. We're wearing underwear. Yeah. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> um, Dharma, Dharm, why don't you let me park this? Why? Because it's a Ferrari and you have to know how to drive it. Have you ever driven one? No. So why should you get to drive it? Because I'm a guy isn't going to work, is it? Not unless you have to park it with your penis. <laughs> I'll be back in a flash. Oh, yeah, baby. Growl for mama. Hey, is it all right if I leave my car there? I got to... I got to get a camera. <laughs> Give me the papers. Oh, yeah, sure. Just yeah. like that. What the hell are you doing? It's a long story. Dharma wanted to help out Celia. Excuse me. Welcome. Thank you. Greg? Inez, I, <laughs> I, I didn't know you were coming. Oh, I flew in for my aunt's wedding. How have you been? Fine. I, I thought you were going to college someday. Maybe be a lawyer. Or... I did. I, I am. I, I, uh, really, I'm just uh, doing this as a, as a gift for your aunt. Hey, pal, uh, that change was in my ashtray. I want it back now. <laughs> it's OK. Maybe someday a dream will come true. That's, um, my wife. <laughs> oh, this is my husband, Fernando. Fernando, este es Gregory, el hijo del jefe de mi tia Celia. Mucho ah, gusto. Nice to meet you. It's great to see you again. You too. Thanks. Who's that? Oh, uh, Inez. She's Celia's niece. She, uh, spent a summer at our house years ago when I was a kid. Inez? Today I am a man, Inez? Pete, have you met my wife, Dharma? She was your first? Yeah, yes, yeah, she was. Wow, you go, boy. How was that? Uh, it was a long time ago. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, right. I, I was an inexperienced teenager. She was a little older, and it just it happened. That's not what you told me. What about the pool house and Gregory, no mas. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Hi, it's okay. It's wonderful. Your first time was so passionate. And uh, so international. Is she a virgin too? I don't, I don't know. You'd have to ask her. Okay. Honey, no. Figure of speech. Mmm. <laughs> this is very good. What did you say it is? Chimichojos. <laughs> the national dish of your country. Chimichojos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I'm sure your mother used to get up early and pound the cornmeal and mix it with the vegetables that grew in that rich volcanic soil. My mother was a dentist. <laughs> oh. Well, you have lovely teeth. <laughs> Hello. How do you do? I'm Kitty Montgomery, employer of the bride. <laughs> oh, so you are Kitty Montgomery. Esta es la loca. <laughs> you know I don't speak Spanish, but what, what was that? Oh, uh, Celia speaks of you often. Ah, oh, all good, I hope. Oh, yes, really good. <laughs> so how are you all acquainted with my lovely Celia? Oh, uh, she and I taught high school together in our country. I'm sorry, Celia taught high school? Yes, uh, literature huh. and mathematics. Oh. And she also fought with Yolanda and Marta in the resistance. Really? <laughs> Exactly what, what did she do? But, you know, I, I, I don't know the word for it in English, but um, she would hide up in a tree and shoot people with a rifle. <laughs> sniper? Si, <laughs> si, si, sniper. I understand that knockout over there was a guest in your house for a while back. Yes, lovely girl. She taught Greg to tango. <laughs> She sure did. <laughs> they used to do it in the living room while his mother and I watched. What? Oh, you, you mean tango. No, I was talking about when they had sex. Inez had sex with my son? <laughs> Oye, me, él está hablando de tu mujer con el hijo de este señor. Le digo a quién es. Excuse me. Uh, my friend would like to know who your son is. Oh, he's the fellow outside parking cars. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> el dice el que estaciona los carros. El valet. <laughs> no, valet. 
Okay. You know, if uh, I'm going to get my car, I should probably do it now. <laughs> Forget about buying a house. Let's save up for one of these. Dharma, just park the car. Oh, the car doesn't like to be parked. The car likes to go fast. How fast were you going? Um, I don't know. But I got a little nosebleed. How could you, Greg? How could you tell people stories about us? What? I... Hi! I'm Dharma, Greg's wife. I just really want to thank you for bringing him into manhood. <laughs> You told this to your wife? Well, it kind of uh, came up in conversation. I told Fernando I was a virgin on the day we got married. Now he wants to kill you and divorce me. What? That's ridiculous. Well, maybe, maybe you should explain to him that the emphasis on physical virginity has been forced upon him by patriarchal culture and it shouldn't be confused with spiritual purity. Oh, that'll work. <laughs> now, I demand you go in there and tell him the truth. Inez, I... I... Be a man. Then maybe someday you'll be more than a parking valet. <laughs> What does she mean, tell him the truth? Nothing. Let's go home. Oh, Greg. Well, when I, when I, when I told Pete the story, I, um, I kind of left out that I finished a bit before Inez did. Oh, that's OK. Actually, a, a lot before. Really? How much before? Well, she came over, and she was slowly unbuttoning my shirt yeah. right then. <laughs> Keep the story that way. It's so much cuter. Dharma, men don't swap cute stories about sexual inadequacy. Well, no matter what, I think you should go in there and tell her husband. I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> You're going to have to do it sooner or later, and since sooner is your specialty. Hey. He's up, quick draw. It was a joke. Anything? <laughs> That's the last one. Nope. Oh, when you tell the story, be sure not to rush it. <laughs> Hello, darling. Are you ready again? Because I am. <laughs> oh, hey, kitty. Want to pull some G's? No, thank you. Sucking a butt. What's the matter? Nothing. Well, if you're trying to kill yourself, hop in. I can make it a lot quicker. <laughs> Dama, tell me, truthfully, am I a bad person? No. But when you blow smoke out of your nose, you're scary like a dragon. <laughs> Celia has, has been in my house for years. She knows every intimate detail about my life, and I don't know anything about hers. Kitty, you gave her a good job, which helped put her daughter through college. She has a daughter? <laughs> <laughs> You know, Kitty, it's not too late to get to know Celia and try to be friends. I don't know. I'm, I'm not ready. Well, why don't you get in? We'll go for a spin. You can think about it. In this? Oh, yeah. Come on. Hop in. Oh. Uh, it is rather sporty. <laughs> sporty? <laughs> no. Jogging bras are sporty, Kitty Montgomery. <laughs> this is a Ferrari. Excuse me, senor. Uh, ¿Cómo te atreves a hablarme después de lo que le hiciste a mi esposa? Uh, uh, let, let, let me explain. Yo te debería matar aquí mismo. Oh, why did I take French? Uh, <laughs> can anybody here help me translate? Uh, I can. Uh, what would you like to say? Uh, <laughs> would you please tell this man that... Yes? Um, <laughs> that... that that, that although he thinks I, I walked in his garden and, uh, and picked his flower, that, that in truth I, I did not. El señor dice que aunque tú piensas que caminó por tu jardín y cortó tu flor, la verdad es que no lo hizo. ¿Y por qué hace alarde de que cortó la flor? He wants to know then why you boast of picking the flower. Uh, because when, when, when men tell tales of their youth, they will, uh, they will claim to have picked flowers that they never even smelled. I saw. Same song. Por 
que cuando los hombres hablan de su juventud a veces pretenden haber cortado flores que nunca vieron. Si él dice que no estaba en el jardín, es un mentiroso. Are you saying you have never been to the garden because then you are a liar? No, 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 I, I, I was there. Um, it's just that um, in, in my enthusiasm uh, for the beauty of the garden, I... <laughs> I finished my visit before I even opened the gate. No, 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 no. Estuve ahí, pero mi entusiasmo por la belleza del jardín terminé mi visita antes de abrir el portón. ¿Qué? What? No, no I, I got that. Um, uh, okay, uh, how's this? Um, uh, here's the flower and... Um, Here's me. Uh, la flor, eh, el señor. Uh, whoops. 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 Great, I learned the Spanish word for whoops is whoops. Sarma! I'm so glad you're here to share this day with me. Me too. Having all my friends here makes it so special. Mm. Good evening, Mrs. Montgomery. <laughs> Celia, Kitty has something she would like to say to you. Yeah, yes, well, um... What she wants you to know is that she, she really cares about you and she wants you two to have a closer relationship. She wants to be buds. <laughs> What did you really want to say? Um, Celia, um, whenever we are not home and you have a day off, feel free to use the pool. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Montgomery. Uh, no guests and don't run the heater. <laughs> of course, Mrs. Montgomery. And, and thank you for letting me share this special day. Flowers. See you Monday, Mrs. Montgomery. Bye, Celia. Oh, my mother! That's great! You should do it every time she vacuums. Wait. Uh, where are we going? Well, let's see if we can get to Nevada and back before they toss the bouquet. May I drive? No! <laughs> I, I'm sure she just parked it somewhere safe that's far away. I'm sure of that. You're a Sagittarius, aren't you? Dear Lord, this is better than sex. Oh, this isn't sex. This is foreplay. I would like to propose a toast to my daughter-in-law, Dharma, who has just completed her six-month probationary period and is now a full member of the Women's Club Charity Committee. Woo! Rather. <laughs> so, probation's over. Can I talk now? Oh, of course you can, dear. Who told you you couldn't? <laughs> well, ah, I would just like to thank you for inviting me to be part of your committee. I have really enjoyed the champagne brunches and the cocktail parties and the wine cruise. Um, but I was thinking, if we cut back on the booze a little bit, we might have more money to help the poor people. <laughs> Six months goes by so quickly. <laughs> I mean, actually, we could probably box up some of these leftovers and go feed some homeless people right now. Thank you, Dominique. No, it's actually what? very easy. We just fan out in the park, and then anybody who's wearing more than one coat or a cape is probably hungry. <laughs> yes, well, <clears throat> we'll table that for the moment, because we really need to discuss the upcoming banquet. Yes, where you'll be receiving the Evelyn Hofstetter Humanitarian Award. Oh. Right. I, mean, I just completely forgot that. <laughs> What? And, Since the car? <laughs> Now, ladies, we've got to decide who's going to introduce you, Kitty. Is that something your husband might like to do? Is there an open bar? Yes. No. <laughs> hey, I'll do it. Oh, Dama, dear, you're, you, 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 you'll have so many other things to do. You don't want to worry about making a speech. Let me do it. I promise I'll bathe and I'll wear a bra. <laughs> That's settled. <laughs> Dharma will introduce Kitty. <laughs> Don't worry, Kitty, I won't embarrass you. Okay. <laughs> 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 
For heaven's sakes, Duchess, sweetheart. I can't take you anywhere. Uh, don't blame it on Duchess. Nunzio's probably just trying to get into her purse. Oh. <laughs> Nunzio, you old horn dog, you. Say hi to Grandma. Oh. Check it out, your mother faxed me a speech to introduce her with. Well, that was nice of her, or completely out of line, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen to this, Dama Darling. I know you're terribly busy, so I jotted down a few ideas for your speech. Took the liberty of putting it in your vernacular. <laughs> Did you know I had a vernacular? No. <laughs> what can I say about Kitty Montgomery? She is certainly one groovy mother-in-law. She didn't say groovy. Apparently, I need to update my vernacular. Kitty Montgomery would never dream of standing here and telling you how tirelessly she gives of herself. <laughs> so let me rap about it. Rap? Do you dig, man? I'm gonna rap. Greg, nobody talks like this. Your father does. <laughs> well, I don't want to do some boring speech. I want to do something personal. Do you have any fun stories I could tell about your mother? Fun? Mm hmm You know, if you change rap and groovy, what she wrote isn't so bad. <laughs> hey, guys, you got a minute? Yeah, come on in. Dharma, Greg, we want you to know, both to know that we appreciate your, your help, your support, but uh, we can't ignore the truth anymore. Our marriage has never been a happy one, and... Uh, We're getting a divorce. Yeah. What? Just like that, you're going to throw away six weeks of marriage? <laughs> It was really over after four weeks. The last two, we were pretty much just going through the motions. <laughs> anyway, the reason we're here is Pete's already a lawyer, so I want you to be mine. Wow, Craig, that's got to be flattering, huh? Um, uh, well, flattering as it may be, Jane, I, I can't be your lawyer. It's about money, because I got money. Ah, no, 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 don't be silly. Greg oh. would never charge you, would you? No, but, um... Great! Then forget what I said about the money, because I don't want him to know about it. I'm right here. <laughs> But I told my lawyer, so legally you don't know about it. Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I can't represent you because uh, Pete's my friend. Oh, hey, it's fine by me, buddy. You know, I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have represent Jane. <laughs> there you go. Everybody's happy. Ba-bam, ba-boom. Hey, don't, don't beat me up too bad, huh, pal? <laughs> Thanks so much. <sighs> Honey, this is really nice. Thank you. you don't understand. I'm, I'm not going to do it. Oh. Well, then, honey, I think you should have said something, because now I think Jane's counting on you. <laughs> so, I figured you've been married for 32 years. You must have all kinds of fun stories I could tell about Kitty. Fun? Uh-huh. <laughs> fun. Well, maybe fun is too specific. How about any warm stories, you know, that could help show Kitty as a human being? Okay, well, you know what? You have my number. Oh, Celia, just the person I wanted to see. You know a lot of interesting stuff about Kitty, right? Enough to be a rich woman if I weren't a good Catholic. I mean, like, fun little stories about Kitty. Fun stories? Uh-huh. About Mrs. Montgomery. Okay, how about before she was married? Did she ever talk about that? Oh, yes. She and I are like sisters. We talk all the time. Very good, Celia. Muy sarcastico. <laughs> Look in the attic. She's got a trunk full of old photographs and books. Oh, and maybe an old diary. I wouldn't know. But I would look in the left-hand corner under the high school yearbooks. <laughs> Gracias. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Pete said I should sign these papers. What do you think? I, I think you should hire a lawyer. He said it's all standard stuff. Hire a lawyer. Why? Jane, please. Just give me an example. <sighs> well, like here, he's got you paying him alimony, which seems, you know, kind of out of line for a six-week marriage. What else? Um, this clause, um, Mrs. Cavanaugh will continue to provide the plaintiff with marital services following the... <laughs> dissolution of the union. Do you, do you, you know what that means? Nope. Get a lawyer. <laughs> Wait a minute. My best friend and my wife. I want a divorce. Hey, I'm getting one. You low-life scum. What? My lawyer informs me you're trying to screw me here. That was the first draft. I took a shot. 
Take him for everything he's got, and when I'm fighting with his cat for the last little frisky. Well, thanks a lot, buddy. I guess I know who my friends are, huh? Pete, I'm not a lawyer. Oh, yeah, right. Well, if you'll excuse me, I got an appointment now with a guy who's not my doctor. He just enjoys checking my prostate. <laughs> here tonight to honor Kitty Montgomery, but the truth is I am the one who's honored to have such a groovy mother-in-law. <laughs> now, to truly appreciate the strong, dignified, sophisticated woman who sits here tonight, we have to understand the long, hard road that she has had to travel. But there was no hard road. Now, <laughs> Kitty never brags about this, so I'm going to do it for her. This woman, who's devoted so much of her adult life to helping those less fortunate, knows firsthand what it's like to be poor. No, 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 I don't. I... Can we lower the lights, please? What is she doing? What is she doing? Now, the fancy soirees of Knob Hill are a world away when you're living above a two-pump gas station just outside of Stockton. <laughs> now, that is not a silver spoon in her mouth, people. That is beef jerky. <laughs> Great, huh? Did you know the mayor was going to be there? No. no uh, you know what? I'll tell you what really touched people was that prom picture of you and your cousin Walter. <laughs> yes, that did make quite an impression. Hey, honey, don't these seats feel great? Dad, what did you do to the seats? They feel brand new. Saddle soap. Really? Oh, and then that old film of you and that homemade tutu dancing on the gravel driveway? You were so cute, your chubby little cheeks. I can't believe you never showed it to anybody. They even, you know, smell brand new. You know why saddle soap works? It's a paste. It, it's, a, it, it's, a, it's a miracle is what it is. Well, here we are. Wow, already. <laughs> that was fast. still on for lunch on Tuesday? I don't think so, Dharma. Well, why not? Because I'm never speaking to you again. <laughs> You're off. I was just trying to get people to see her as a human being. Well, maybe that's not how she wants to be seen. I'm going to call her and I'm going to apologize. Dharma, just give it time. Trust me, it'll all blow over. Frank, she said she never wants to talk to me again. No, I, I know what she said, but if you give it a couple of weeks, she'll pretend as if it never happened. That's how my mother prefers to deal with these situations. Well, then this will be a growth opportunity for her. No. <laughs> Hi, Edward. Can I talk to Kitty, please? It's Dharma. <laughs> she seems to have stepped out. Fine, fine. I'm tired of fighting about it. I bought them for her, but she can have them. That's awfully big of you, Pete. Mrs. Cavanaugh will retain possession of her underwear. You know, just for the record, she didn't even wear underwear before I met her. You want your stupid underwear? Yeah, Take your no, stupid Jane, underwear. Jane, it's settled. You just keep them on. Okay, uh, what about the wedding gifts? He can have them all. Oh, that's real generous toaster oven, a crock pot, and some stupid waffle thing I'm never going to use? It's a Belgian waffle iron, and you're welcome. I just want the vacation in Cabo. My mother gave us the Cabo vacation. Why should you get it? Because she likes me better than she likes you. Well, what difference does that make? I want the trip to Cabo. Well, you can't have it. Okay, then the humidifier that you took, I want it. I'm the one with bronchitis. Why do you want it? So you'll die. <laughs> Mrs. Cavanaugh retains possession of the humidifier. Mr. Cavanaugh dies. We got anything else? We'll be having six for dinner, and I'd like to serve quail. And don't just get small chickens. I know the difference. <laughs> Shall I get the door? Wait. No. <laughs> But the funny knock is Mrs. Dharma. I told you Celia Dharma is persona non grata. And I told you please speak English because your Spanish is no good. <laughs> uh oh. She's in the window now. Just tell her that I'm not home. But she can see you. Well, make something up. I'll tell her you are Mrs. Montgomery's long lost twin sister. Just go. The nice one. <laughs> Hey, 
Che. Hey. Dharma home? No, no, just got here myself. Up, Larry. Up. <laughs> Guys, can I ask you a favor? Yeah. Yeah, what's happening? Well, Pete and I are going through a pretty nasty breakup, and I don't want him to get my bike, so can I hide it in your shed and say it was stolen? Come on. Pete's a smart man. He's not going to believe our shed was stolen. <laughs> my fault how isn't it well if she had just talked to me i wouldn't have had to crawl around in her bushes and hide out in her car oh you're right my mother clearly shares culpability thank you <laughs> do me a favor don't talk to her give her some time that doesn't make any sense if people have a conflict they need to communicate in order to have some understanding some closure greg you know you call yourself open-minded but really you're not well... <laughs> how can you say that Greg, there is nobody more open-minded than me in the whole wide world. But if there were, I would be open to it. Then why can't you accept that my mother does things differently than you? Okay, you know what? You're right. I'll try it her way. Thank you. Because a big part of being open-minded is embracing those things that you know deep down are just stupid. I'll take it. <laughs> See, wait a couple of weeks, it's like nothing happened. So I'm just supposed to sit here and make polite conversation about the soup. Or the flowers, she likes flowers. Hello, darling. Mother. Mm. Hello, Dharma. <laughs> Don't you look lovely this Hello, evening? Darling. Thank you. How are you? Hey. <sighs> God, aren't these daffodils beautiful? Ah, yes, actually, they're John Quills. <laughs> <clears throat> Seems like forever since we've all been together. Two weeks. Uh, two ah. weeks, more or less. Who's counting? <laughs> you know, in England, uh, they call two weeks a fortnight. I wonder why we don't use that here. Oh, I think we should. It's such a lovely turn of phrase. Dama, darling, I haven't seen you in a fortnight. <laughs> uh, Tuck my jungles, has it been a fortnight? Hmm. <laughs> 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 I am not normally a fan of cream sauce, but that hint of dill just makes it sick. Mm, very tasty. Uh, Delicious. <laughs> so, Mother, how are things working out with your new uh, interior decorator? Oh, I have to let him go. I asked him to do the solarium in this off taupe. He did it in beige. Can I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. When the interior decorator made the mistake, which may have been an innocent mistake, right. did you talk to him before you fired him? Why would I? Would I? You know, that reminds me of a joke. A fellow has a wooden eye. Um, Greg, I and... think your mother was talking about her unexpressed anger towards her interior decoration. No, no, I think she was talking about paint. Um... Fabric, actually. I was originally going to go with paint, and then I found this fabulous Malaysian cotton. Well, fabric, object, cotton, paint, whatever. The fact is, you were mad as hell. So this guy with a wooden eye walks into a bar, and as you can well imagine, he feels very self-conscious. Because his eye is made of wood. Exactly. <laughs> 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 How's your dessert, Edward? Mm, a hell of an apple pie. <laughs> it's a tartar tan, Edward. But I agree with you, it's a hell of a tartar tan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was going to order the creme brulee, but I'm very happy with the tartar tan. <laughs> I was going to order the tiramisu, and I did. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I think there's something floating in my coffee. Oh. Oh, no, 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 there isn't. Oh, stop it! Stop it, please. I can't stand it anymore. Please, can we talk about this, Kitty? Talk about what? Well, oh, come on. I, I embarrassed you in front of your friends. I wrecked your car. Let us just pretend it didn't happen, Donna. Oh, so I can just do anything I want and just pretend it never happened? Like, 
Like this? Oh! Dharma? <laughs> Nothing, just a, just a little spoon. Well, it was wonderful. Thank you for dinner. Call you in a fortnight. No, I know you think I'm crazy, but you are the one who's crazy. It is not crazy to want to behave in a civilized fashion. <laughs> oh, yes! Finally, Kitty, say it. You are mad at me. Of course I am mad at you. <laughs> you humiliated me in front of my friends. Oh, you! And I never lived above a gas station. I... Oh, lived across the street from a gas station. And by the time I was out of high school, my father owned every gas station from here to the Canadian border. Oh. Good arm, Kitty. I took my cousin to the prom because he had mononucleosis and he was out of school for three months. Really? That is so sweet. I am a very sweet person. <laughs> Did you ever uh, try saddle soap on your car seats? Um, I uh, couldn't find it. Did you try the hardware store? Molly had was a cream. No, no, no. You'll want the paste. Mm -hmm. I always thought your mother was a southpaw. mom and you understand we have to pretend it never happened right Ooh, got it nothing ever happened mm, this is a hell of a tart tart tan yum mm. hey we're back where'd you go Cabo. where'd you go uh food fight night at the country club excellent wait a minute you both went to Cabo. Yeah, you couldn't figure out which one of us got the trip, so, uh... We both went. One thing led to another, and, uh, we got back together. What are you talking about? I just spent an entire fortnight drawing up a divorce settlement. Thanks, but turned out we just needed a little time mm -hmm. alone. Oh, that's so great. Isn't that great, No, you, great? you're divorced. All you have to do is sign the papers. Hey, man, thanks for the support. Come on, let's go upstairs and whack that pinata. <laughs> Arriba! Oh, they made my life miserable. They made me, they made me work out joint custody for a humidifier. Oh, great, 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 great. What? Let's just pretend this never happened. Oh, cute. <laughs> Very cute. Where are you going? Nowhere. Greg. How about we pretend this never happened? So what? I'm already covered with food. <laughs> Shall I waste my breath on a list of desserts, or do you just want the check? Uh, just the check. And some whipped cream to go. <laughs> oh, hey, sir, you dropped your wallet! Hey! Ugh. Sir? Uh, Dharma? Dharma! Stop, please! <laughs> Dharma?
Yes. Shame on you! Uh, darling, darling, uh, they, they, they'll take it from here. Would it have killed you to turn around and tell me you stole it? Uh, darling, just, just let it go. I'm sorry, Greg, but the man was rude. Forget something? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Uh, uh, here you go. Thanks. I'll just make an imprint of this on my forehead. I think he wants cash. I, I, I didn't bring any cash. That's him! That's the man! Calm down, sir. We got your wallet thanks to this lady right here. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. I, I'd like to give you a reward. Here's $40. Thank you. Here you go. Was there something wrong with the service? Not enough running, perhaps? <laughs> Use another ten. But we, we eat there a lot. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be right back with your mints. <laughs> making out at the restaurant, so I was pretty revved up. Darn it. It doesn't need to know. Well, why don't I just write this up as a citizen's arrest? Cool. Hey, can you put down that I gave Chase and collared the perp? That's how I'll do it. Great. <laughs> hey, I have something to ask you. You and uh, Officer Gorgeous over there, you got something going on? What do you mean? I saw the way he looked at you when you slapped those cuffs on that guy. Darn, these are very busy people. Just let them do their job. One moment, sir. How did he look at me? Like he was wishing that you'd put the cuffs on him. Really? <laughs> We've been partners for two years. He's never even seen me out of this uniform. Oh, believe me, he has. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're all done here. Listen, uh, if there's anything we can do for you, let us know. We owe you one. Can you take a peek at your butt and see if Cupid's arrow is sticking in it? Oh, thanks very much, officers. We should do this again. Come on, darling. Oh, 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 wait. There is something you can do for me. Did you know she always wanted to do this? No, but that, that's not unusual. <laughs> what the hell is she doing? Oh, that's her mean face. time i'm thinking that he dropped his wallet wow what an exciting day you had I know. she was a hero excuse me but before we start pinning medals on her did anybody stop to think about the real thief the one who got away <laughs> do you know where he's going with this i think so but i don't want to ruin it for you the real thief is a system that oppresses individuals and forces them to steal, and the police are the unwitting arm of this oppressive system. Do you people get what I'm saying? Of course, totally, honey. totally, yeah, totally. Sure. So, Abby, I understand you have a birthday coming up. Any, uh, any special plans? Oh, no, I don't think so. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Me. Now, 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 what's going on? Larry and Dharma are planning my surprise birthday party. Well, shouldn't you be in there? Oh, if I rush right in there, Abby's gonna get suspicious. Oh. <laughs> Dharma, would you uh, show me how your sink works? <laughs> I never really liked surprise parties myself. Then mm. you should have Larry throw you one. <laughs> Please let me bake the cake. Why? Everybody loves my cakes. Do you remember the cake you cooked for Abby's 40th birthday party? No. <laughs> Neither does anyone else. <laughs> let me bake the cake. Karma? Yeah? Bill and Ellen are here for you. Oh, I'll be right there. Okay, so I'll bake the cake. You do the guest list. Right. Cool. Let's see. Eggs, flour, butter. Gotta call Dave. Hey, you guys. Hi. 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 Ooh, bulletproof vest. Very sexy. Hi. 
brought you your fake mugshot. Oh, cool. <laughs> wow. Oh, beautiful frame. Where did you get that? We went antiquing. We, we drove down to Carmel. <laughs> Carmel? Did you stay the night? <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. <laughs> You. Dar Dharma, don't, don't tease people with guns. <laughs> all right, all right, let me handle this. Anything you found here was found without a warrant and is therefore inadmissible. Unless you do have a warrant, in which case, we're house-sitting. It's okay, Larry, these are my friends. What do you mean, your friends? They're cops. <laughs> yeah, and they're my friends. Larry, please don't make a big deal out of this. I'm not making a big deal out of it. If she wants to betray the values that I taught her, if she wants to spit in the face of everything I stand for, that's not a big deal. Mm, maybe we should go. Yeah. No, no, you know what? We should probably go. What's it gonna be, Dharma? The people who raised you? Who put a roof over your head for 14 of the 18 years you lived with us? <laughs> or the enemies of everything they stand for? Larry, you're wrong about this one. Bill and Ellen are good people. Fine. That's it, then. Let's go, Abby. Very nice to meet you. Remember, peace officer begins with peace. <laughs> so you, uh, met Owen's parents yet? <laughs> Do you believe this? Two years, I'm driving, and then we start sleeping together. To drive. It's cute. You're a couple now. <laughs> Dad, how old is Dad? Not so good. We're not talking. Anything we can do to help? Well, do you think you could explain to him that you're not part of a conspiracy to suppress the masses on behalf of the multinational fascists who secretly rule the world? Oh, is that what we do? No wonder we're so tired at the end of the day. <laughs> oh, oh, I know those guys. Can we pull them over? What for? Just to screw with him? You got it. No. What did you do? I didn't do anything. Hey, switch seats with me. Why should I catch a ticket? Because if I get another one, I'm going to lose my license. Come on, switch with me. I don't even have a license. I think you've got nothing to lose. <laughs> oh, man, are they switching places? Either that or the little one's trying to throw the big one out of the car. <laughs> Attention seat switchers. Get out of the car and slowly move to the front of the vehicle. Last time I let you drive. <laughs> this is great. How do you get any real work done? Put your hands on your head. Now put your right leg out. Now put it back in. Now put your left leg out. And shake it all about. He's, uh, he's still pretty upset, huh? Well, he's a Taurus, Greg, and his moon's in Capricorn. I don't need to tell you what that means. No, no. <laughs> You certainly don't. I'll, I'll, I'll go talk to him. You might want to wait until Mercury's out of retrograde. I'll take my chances. <laughs> hey. Hey. What you doing? Jigsaw puzzle. Is that Nixon? Yeah. <laughs> Getting on a helicopter after he resigned in disgrace. <laughs> I love this puzzle. Oh, uh, here's, uh, here's, here's somebody's eye. Yeah, is it shifty? Uh, it looks kind of bloodshot. Oh, that's Pat's. <laughs> Listen, Larry, we, we need to talk about the situation between you and your daughter. I have no daughter. Come on, you don't mean that. Damn right I mean it. <laughs> Larry, why is this a problem? You, you had trouble with me because I worked for the government. In fact, I think you called me a mindless zombie of the overclass. Rabbit pit bull of the federales. Postal <laughs> workers are mindless zombies of the overclass. <laughs> My point is, 
once you got to know me, you realized I wasn't the enemy. Why can't you do the same for Dharma's friends? Because they're the police, the steel toe or the jackboot of the establishment. <laughs> uh, uh, given, but, but uh, the, the times, they are a-changing, right? Hey, listen to me, Greg. You weren't there. You don't know what it was like to protest against an unjust war and be beaten by sticks and bitten by police dogs and gassed and tagged and dragged off into jails because your opinions weren't acceptable. All that happened to you? I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to change your mind here. What, what, what about Abby's surprise party? What about it? Well, how are you and Dharma going to work together if you're not talking to each other? I don't need to talk to Dharma. I can throw a party for my old lady all by myself. Okay. Well, guess I better get going. Tried. Taurus. <laughs> Listen, Larry, maybe we should call off the party. Party? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, just tell me you're not going to make a scene with Dharma. Hey, I won't make a scene. I promise you, if anybody ruins your surprise party, it won't be me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a menace to society. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take it from here, guys. I, I think she just needs a little tough love. Ooh, I promise. <laughs> Good work today, guys. Take care. See you, buddy. Good cop. Good cop. Yeah. Uh, listen, I. I was talking to your dad, and, and believe it or not, some of the stuff he said kind of made sense. I mean, it was all wrapped up in bumper stickers and t-shirt slogans, but, but the guy has been through some stuff. I know, I know. I've heard it all my life. But he's wrong about Bill and Ellen, and that is all there is to it. But aren't you the one who's always saying there is no right and wrong, it's a duality, and dualities are an illusion? How does that apply? You tell me. I didn't even know what it means. <laughs> Miniature golf, Greg. It really made it a special birthday. Oh, you're certainly welcome, Abby. It, it was fun for me as well. Surprise! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Larry, I'm gonna get you for this. You didn't see it coming, did you? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Where's Dharma? Uh, we should talk about that. Um, uh, be, be right back. Um, she's, uh, she's being pretty stubborn. Um... So she's not coming? Surprise! Oh, jeez, a crackers! It scared the daylights out of me! Oh, happy birthday, Abby! Oh. What's going on? Uh, Norman and Larry are throwing separate parties. Surprise! <laughs> separate parties? Only one of which, for the record, was a surprise. Way to go, living room! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Can I have your attention? The kitchen party is now serving a delightful 1984 Bordeaux. And Greg, your parents are here. <laughs> Honey, isn't this a little silly? Look closer, Abby. It's insane. <laughs> no, it's perfectly reasonable. Everyone's welcome to go to Larry's party. They just have to get their hands stamped in order to come back to my party. <laughs> Don't mean my party. I'll be right back. Hold on, Blondie. You're cool. <laughs> this punch is delicious. You're right. It does taste a little like punch. <laughs> Larry, hey guys. Hi. Hello. Maybe we should call a truce and have just one party. So there is another party. No. Yes. Uh, does that one suck too? <laughs> Come on, we're being childish. Let's have just one party for everybody. Fine. In the kitchen. Larry. We got punch. We got pretzels. 
We can make toast. <laughs> but I've got birthday cake, Chinese food, and three kinds of pasta in the living room. Oh. <laughs> No. And tell your people not to come crawling to me when they want something toasted. Is that the punch from Larry's party? Yes, why? No reason. <laughs> Get the camera ready, we're gonna be rich. Hey, hey, what a, what a surprise. Well, we were working, but we just wanted to drop by and give this to Dharma's mom. Dharma told us how much she likes antique quilts. Hey, look who's here. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thanks for inviting us. Oh, uh, no problem. Listen, we might have a little bit of a situation here. Hey, what the hell are they doing here? Larry, let's not do this. No, I want an answer. I invited them to my party. You invited them to my house. And the only way cops come into my house is the regular way, with a warrant and a battering ram. <laughs> They're not real cops, Finkelstein. Come on, officers. Take it off. Take it off. <laughs> Larry, can we just drop this right now for Abby's sake? Fine. Do you want these people in your home? Well, Larry, they seem so nice. That's it, then. My whole family's turned against me. You got short memories, people. Well, you know what? Larry Finkelstein doesn't forget. I don't forget the cruelty and the injustice and the cruelty and... Larry? Oh, Dad? Are you all right? I can't breathe. Somebody call an ambulance. We'll take him in the squad car. Not the squad car. Mr. Finkelstein, let us help you. On three, ready? One, two, three. Passive resistance! Passive resistance! Um, go with your mom and dad. We'll be right behind you. You'll never take me alive! Here! Here! Take my dress! It has magical powers! I'm so sorry, Dad. I shouldn't have invited Bill and Ellen. No offense, guys. It's okay. I was just being a big jerk. No, I'm the one who should be sorry. I've been so pig-headed. No offense. That's okay. I don't want you to just think of me as a man who stood stubbornly by his principles, but as a compassionate, loving man. A man who was open to change and who accepted people who were different than himself, even though they abused and trampled his rights. He will be missed. Oh, Larry, you're not dying. Larry Finkelstein was a family man, a good provider. None of your business, how. And now? No, oh, Larry! Dad! Can I say something? Please stop breathing! Oh, oh nothing was better. Oh. Is it okay for you to eat that? Yeah, as long as your mother doesn't find out. Hey, what's the matter? Is the boss watching? Load up the onions. Oh, jeez. Larry? You called me Dad when you thought it was gonna die. I know. It's kind of nice, you know, if you don't overdo it. Don't worry. You'll always be my Larry. <laughs> relax, relax. It's Bill and Ellen. Hey, Mr. Finkelstein, how you feeling? Much better, thank you. Turns out it was gas. <laughs> really? you guys do me a favor? Sure, what do you need? Come on, Larry, get in the car. What? Trust me, it'll be worth it. <laughs> Edward, are you speeding? I don't think so. Well... You and the Mercedes pull over and prepare to be strip searched. Strip searched? Oh, gee, that's absurd. Edward, do something. Uh, here, here, here. Here's, oh. here's a hundred dollars. Tuck it in your bra and flirt a little.
parents wanted me to thank you again for inviting them to your garden party last weekend. It was lovely to have them. My dad's real sorry about what happened. <laughs> I understand. He feels terrible about breaking the head off that little lawn statue. Donna, I don't think we need to talk about that anymore. Yeah, I just want to make sure they understand that the only reason he knocked over the statue was because he was trying to get to the garden hose to put out the gazebo that he accidentally set on fire. Too bad he didn't make it. Yes. Yeah, well, he swears that's the last time he'll wear a cake to a barbecue. Well, I just think that's good news all around. <laughs> so, Mother, what else is new? Did I tell you, uh, Stephanie Northrup called looking for you. Really? Mm -hmm. I thought of her in years. Who's Stephanie Northrup? Old girlfriend. Oh, she's the one your mother didn't like. The one your mother didn't like? She was very opinionated and she dressed like an anchor woman. Although looking back, I think I may have rushed to judgment. You gonna call her? Oh, uh, I don't know. It's a little awkward. Did you tell her that I'm married? I don't recall. I've been distracted lately by the charred and smoldering gazebo in my backyard. You should call her. Mm, maybe. Greg, just because you had sex with this woman doesn't mean that you can't be friends with her now. If I couldn't be friends with all the guys I had sex with... Boy, I can't believe Larry burned down that gazebo. How bad was that, huh? <laughs> so, when are you going to call Stephanie? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. I'll get around to it. Hmm. Aren't you curious what she wants? Oh, not really. Oh, come on, Greg. You know what this is. She broke up with someone, was going through her book, saw your name. It's a booty call. It is not. <laughs> Greg's got a booty call. Look, if you're so curious, why don't you just call her? Oh, God. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Stephanie. Greg Montgomery. Uh, uh, good, good. And, and you? Uh, uh, what's up? I want some booty. A uh, favor? Sure. Well, what, what kind of favor? A booty favor. Uh, um, uh, well, sure. I, I'd be happy to do that. When do you need it by? I need it now and I need it back. Could you hold on a second? She wants to send her son to the same prep school I went to, and she needs a letter of recommendation. Where I come from, we call that booty. That's my wife. Uh, listen, why don't you send me the form and I'll fill it out. With my booty. Um, okay, well, if you're in a hurry, why don't you, uh, why don't you bring it by? And drop it in my booty. Tomorrow would be fine. Let, let me give you my address. Where it... Booty Lane meets Booty Boulevard. <laughs> oh. Great, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, we are going to meet someone very special tomorrow. Who? His name is Greg, and he's an old friend of Mommy's, and I think you'll like him. He's handsome and smart, just like you. <laughs> Something bothering you? I don't know. I thought maybe I was going to get my first booty call. <laughs> You never had a booty call? I never had a booty call. Where's your cell phone? On the coffee table. Okay, wait here. <laughs> hey, baby. You want to come over for some of my hot booty? That's not me. <laughs> Hello, Mother. You did a great job. He seems like a really neat kid. Thank you. It's been hard raising him alone. I just can't do all that guy stuff with him. And this stamp commemorates the first lady of the American theater, Miss Helen Hayes. Oh. Hey, easy, cowboy. You'll want to use the tweezers. When was the last time you saw Greg? Oh, let's see. Seven? No, Jeremy, seven. It's 
got to be eight years ago. <laughs> Look at them. They're like two peas in a pod. Have peas collected stamps? <laughs> oh, what's that? That is the 100th anniversary of the cotton gin first day of issue. Sweet. <laughs> So you ready to add a little boy to your family? Excuse me? Greg shouldn't have brought out those stamps. Jeremy's never going to want to go home now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he collects everything, and he is so organized. If I touch any of his things, I just never hear the end of it. Yeah, I know how that is. <laughs> and these are my NASA commemoratives, Mercury, Gemini, Apollo. What's Charles Wimber doing there? Oh, geez, Dharma, have you been playing with my stamps? Every chance I get. <laughs> Okay, who's ready for that ice cream? Vanilla. Vanilla. <laughs> right. Greg, will you help me? Sure. Be right back. Hey, Mom, Mr. Montgomery's allergic to macadamia nuts just like me. Wow. <laughs> that is a handsome kid, huh? Yeah, he's a doll. Did Stephanie say anything to you about his father? No, but I got the feeling that it uh, didn't work out well, so I didn't want to bring it up. Probably smart. Wouldn't it be great if we had a kid like that someday? Hmm. Odds are we will. <laughs> so how come you and Stephanie broke up? Oh, I don't know. She was a lot more serious than me. In what way? Well, for one thing, she really wanted to have kids, and I wasn't ready. And this was eight years ago? Sounds about right. Huh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Earth to Greg. Yes? Spoons. <laughs> Spoons. Harvard, Stanford. Spoons. <laughs> oh, what is that infernal racket? Finkelstein. What is he doing? He felt bad about the gazebo, so he's building us a new one. Oh, really? Oh, well, I suppose that's all right. How long is it going to take him? Could be a while. He asked me if I had a book on how to build a gazebo. Six. I will never understand why Abby puts up with that man. Maybe because he has a hell of a Johnson on him. A what? I... Oh, Edward. Edward, that is crude and vulgar. <laughs> Good morning. Listen, I just want you to know that I'm not going to say another word about the possibility of Jeremy being your son. Thank you. You're welcome. I would, however, like to show you a picture of yourself in second grade. Whoosh! <laughs> fine, fine. He does look a lot like me, and so does the guy at Home Depot. Is he my kid, too? Maybe. Were you having sex with his mother at the time that he was conceived? Because that's how it happens, Greg. Fine, fine. Let's just assume you're right. Whoosh! Now stop, stop whooshing. <laughs> if you're right, explain why Stephanie never contacted me. Until yesterday. Then why didn't she say anything? Because it's hard, Greg. You don't just show up in someone's life after eight years and go, here's your kid. No, I guess not. Isn't it possible that maybe she's introducing him into your life and she'll tell you in her own time? I suppose that's possible. There's nothing to be scared of, honey. If Jeremy is your son, I'm totally okay with that. Really? Of course. Let me see the picture again. Goosh! <laughs> How about this? What if Stephanie was so hung up on me when we broke up that she immediately got involved with someone who looked just like me and they had a kid? Greg, listen to yourself. Yeah, you're right. Oh my God. I might have a son. Yeah. Tama, I, I don't know if I'm ready for this. You're not alone, honey. We're a team. We'll do this together. Thank you. Like, for instance, I could be the one to tell Kitty she's a grandma. That'd be a big help. <laughs> well, how's the gazebo coming? Oh, I, I, I have no idea. I wasn't looking. 
Looks like he's doing a pretty good job. Uh, Edward, I was I was curious about your your earlier comment. What comment? About Larry and his um his uh his tallywhacker? <laughs> yes. Uh, how, how do you know? Well, he went golfing with us that one time, and we took a steam. Uh, his people call it a schwitz. Aha. Uh -huh. Isn't that colorful? And you saw his schwitz? <laughs> no, uh, a schwitz is a steam. The word oh. you're looking for is... Hi, guys. What do you think? Starting to come along, huh? I wouldn't know. I wasn't looking. <laughs> Man. It's like a schwitz out there. <laughs> Mind if I take a dip in your pool? I don't see why not. I'll see if I've got some trunks that'll fit you. Thanks, Ed. That's mighty big of you. <laughs> okay, if I make myself a sandwich? Oh, certainly. Help yourself. Wow. I hope I have enough meat for this. <laughs> I'm joking. Look at the size of this salami. <laughs> Want some? There's more than enough here for you. Hey, how's that recommendation coming? Almost done. I want to get it right. I wasn't around for seven years. The least I can do is help you get into a good school. Is this the school you went to? Yep, Brookside Academy. Oh, God. What's wrong? This is so sad. What? Look, these little boys have to wear uniforms like they're in some kind of miniature army. What? <laughs> uniforms? Those are nice blue blazers. Oh, okay, miniature navy. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this. They're eating lunch off of metal trays like they're some kind of miniature prison. That's the dining hall. It was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. <gasps> what kind of school makes little kids fight each other for space? Board. That's Greco-Roman wrestling. It's Jim. This is Jim? Yeah. Where's the skipping and noodle tag? And hey, I bet I can fit in there. <laughs> okay, well, maybe, you know, maybe it's not as loosey-goosey as being homeschooled. And loosey-goosey? Did you play loosey-goosey? No, but Dharma, trust me, this is the best college prep on the West Coast. Well, forget college prep for a minute. Did you have any fun while you were there? School. It's not supposed to be fun. <laughs> You really want to send your son to this joyless place? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe it's a little regimented. Greg, you don't have to sit on a hard chair in a wool blazer to get an education. I mean, I learned about American history by living on an Indian reservation. I climbed trees to learn about bugs and birds and gravity and first aid. <laughs> Dharma, this school offers everything. Look, look, a first-class language lab. You'll learn it quicker when your parents just drop you off in Chinatown. Oh, come on. <laughs> Would you rather learn about thermodynamics from a book or by going on a hot air balloon trip with your folks to Mexico? That's how you learned about thermodynamics? And geography. And wind currents. We were shooting for Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that Jeremy should be homeschooled, but wouldn't you want to be in a more nurturing environment that... What are they doing here? Learning how to beat each other with sticks? That's lacrosse. It's a game. Listen to you. It's a game. <laughs> okay, we'll see you at three. Hey, good news. Your dad's going to fly down for your interview tomorrow. Dad? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Hey, what a surprise. I hope this isn't a bad time. No, no, come on in. I just got to make a quick call to my office, and I'll be right with you. Okay. Jeremy, look who's here. Hey, Mr. Montgomery. Hey, Jeremy. What you listening to? I'm in French. Oh, great. I studied French. Très bien. Mamo, ati colonna, bazwa, polycol. Your mom said... What? <laughs> Dad, I need this for school. Oh, you might. Is it fun? Uh, I don't think it's supposed to be fun. Yeah, I don't even think French people like it. <laughs> you know, Jeremy, I went to the school that you might be going to, and I gotta tell you, it's not a lot of fun either. Really? No. So if you want, maybe I can talk to your mom about some other schools. Jeremy, why don't you go finish your homework? Mom, Mr. Montgomery said that... Yeah, I heard what he said. Go finish your homework. Okay. 
What are you doing? Well, I've been thinking about it, and I'm just not sure that Brookside is the best place for Jeremy. What? Well, I just think we should consider all the options before we make a decision that's going to affect him for the rest of his life. We should consider the options. Yes. <laughs> I haven't seen you in eight years. I call you for a letter of recommendation, and all of a sudden you want to participate in Jeremy's upbringing? I'm just trying to be a part of the boy's life. I don't recall asking you to be a part of his life. You will, in, in your own time. <laughs> you know what, Greg? I think that you should just leave now. Okay. Well, that's, that's your prerogative. Yes, it is. You know, uh, my mother made me study French when I was little, and now I can't even order soup. <laughs> Chef voudrais du la soup. <laughs> Merci. Hi, Kenny. Oh, Abby. Ah, uh, hello. <laughs> it's not too big, is it? What? <laughs> gazebo? Oh, the gazebo, yes. And uh, no. Okay. Uh, listen, I'm sorry to bother you, but Larry forgot to take his herbs this morning, so I brought him by. Hey, how's it hanging? Hey, baby. <laughs> Whoa, be careful. You could hurt somebody with that thing. Sorry. <laughs> How's the gazebo coming? Pretty good. I think I got too much wood, though. We can always use that at home. Unless Kitty wants it. No, no. <laughs> okay, well, uh, back to the grind. Okay. Mm. Don't forget your herbs. I won't. Okay. See you later. Abby? Yeah. Um, could I ask you a personal question? Sure. Uh, I, uh, was, uh, what, uh, oh, never mind. It's not important. <laughs> okay. Is it about Larry's penis? Oh, what? <laughs> no, I was yeah, I saw you looking at it, I Kitty. Was... Would you like to see it? Because he's not shy. No. Larry! Larry, would you come back here for a minute? Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing, just teaching Kitty some manners. Well, while you're at it? Maybe you could get her to stop staring at my penis. Bob, is my tie straight? Yes, honey, you look great. Huh? Is my, uh, is my tie straight? It's fine, honey. Hi. What are you doing here? Well, I feel badly about how we left things the other night, and I never got to give you the recommendation, so here. Thank you. Stephanie? Um, I just want you to know that if you change your mind and decide that you want Greg to be part of Jeremy's life, that I support that and I'm completely comfortable with it. Jeremy, I'll be right back. Listen, I don't know what you two are up to, and frankly, I don't care. I'm sorry I ever called you. You know, Stephanie, I do have some rights here. <laughs> and to tell you the truth, I think you're handling this rather poorly. Oh, really? what I think? I think you're both nuts. Hey, now, we have been very patient with you. Daddy! Hey, champ. Oh, sorry I'm late. My tie straight? You look great, Dad. Who? My ex-husband, Jeremy's father. Oh. <laughs> Gotta go. Good luck with everything. You're gonna love it here. The dining hall was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. It's beautiful. Bye. Sorry, 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 sorry. Where's your cell phone? In my briefcase. Okay. You wait here. Uh-oh. This is Booty Central. Press one if your booty is hot. Press two if you want hot sorry, booty. Sorry, 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 Press... sorry, 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 Dad, st stop pushing the button. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Must be Christmas. Gregory, I am a wreck. I am absolutely a wreck. Your father 
has that infernal train set out. And your delightful cousin Jennifer is here. And then, to top it all off, the maid seems to have switched to menthol. Ah. <laughs> Mother, have you lost weight? No, oh, Gregory, please, that won't work. No, I'm, I'm serious. Well, I, maybe I have. Do I look a little... <laughs> could be. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> I don't play with trains, Uncle Edward. I'm not five. Suit yourself, little lady. Here we go. <laughs> Who's here? Your cousin, Gregory. So, uh, Jennifer, how have you been? Just dandy. Hey, I got uh, married since I last saw you. Huh. I always thought you were gay. <laughs> well, now, why don't you two just <clears throat> catch up? Oh, and Gregory, so that you don't tread over ground that we've already covered. Uh, school bites, Christmas bites. Oh, and the, and the sugar cookies over there. Bite the big one. <laughs> So, I heard your, uh, mother got married again. She's on her honeymoon with a rich old guy who's been clinically dead twice. Somebody's got a new daddy. <laughs> hey, everybody, look outside! That's my wife. And the one with the antlers. Did I mention she might bring a few friends over? No, I don't believe you did, Gregory. Can we use your Here's a cookie, Merry Christmas. Here's a cookie, Merry Christmas. Here's a, oh, 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 sir, you dropped your glove. Wouldn't want you to have to come back. <laughs> so were you surprised when we showed up? Not as surprised as my mother. I know. For a while there, I didn't think she was going to let us in. That's because for a while there, she wasn't. <laughs> Thanks for the nog, man. And have a joyous holiday of your choosing, if indeed you choose to celebrate a holiday at all. And a happy new year, if you people believe in calendars. <laughs> Kitty, are you sure you don't want to come caroling with us? We're going to be in your neighborhood for a while. Well, that's a lovely invitation, Abby, but I, I don't know any of my neighbors, and I prefer to keep it that way. <laughs> okay. Well, sorry if we muddied up your house. But you did turn the sprinklers on us. <laughs> uh, Dharma, I'd like you to meet my cousin Jennifer. Oh! Hi, I'm Dharma. So, did you marry Greg for his money? <laughs> oh, open hostility. <laughs> you know, if you want to become more sneaky at it, just watch your Aunt Kitty. <laughs> well, Jennifer is staying with us while her mother is honeymooning in Bali for ten wonderful days. Like, this isn't hell on a stick for me. <laughs> oh, isn't she just a charming cauldron of rage and hormones? Oh, come on, Kitty, you remember 16. Yeah. Well, hate your hair, you hate your skin, your parents just moved into a solar-powered sod hut, and you can't have friends over because your dad's mowing the roof. You know what, Dharma? You are right. Jennifer should not be stuck here with us. She should be with some happening young people like you and Gregory. Dharma didn't say that. Greg, I think it's a great idea. She'll have so much more fun with us. She didn't say that either. <laughs> Gregory, please, you would be doing me an enormous favor. I do not know what to do with the 16-year-old, and I already have my hands full. What do you mean you have your hands full? <sighs> hey, Kitty, look, I am a giant. <laughs> okay, I know what does not bite. Cheesy movie and dairy-free pizza. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh! I want to go throw this off the roof. I don't think so. Okay. Um, okay. How about prank phone calls? Who do you want to call? The Pope. No, they never put your call through. But I do know someone else who makes you kiss their ring. <laughs> yes, Kitty Montgomery. Yes, this is Alice Penderwald. I've been watching you for quite some time on the golf course. 
And I think you are a very handsome woman. What's going on? She's pranking your mom. Again? Dharma? She's going to... She's going to figure it out. Frank, she can't even figure out Star 69. Uh-oh. Two more rings and the machine picks it up. Happy holidays, Penderwald residents. Yes, sorry about hanging up like that. My husband, Walter, walked into the room. Uh, so, do you want to meet for drinks or just get soapy and go for it? <laughs> Hello? Oh, that was a close one. What if she said yes? Wait, wait I withdraw the question. <laughs> Your turn. No, look, I'm just tired. Where's my bedroom? Oh, all right. Come here with me. I'll show you. Mm. What do you think? Are you kidding me? I'm sleeping here? Well, you Stinky and Nunzio. I'm sleeping with a dog named Stinky? <laughs> yeah, but Nunzio's the one to worry about. <laughs> yeah, no matter how much he begs, don't pull his tail. <laughs> Whoa! Karma! Jeez. My little cousin's downstairs. Craig! First you won't do it in your parents' bathroom, and then you won't do it in the back of the cab. What's going on? She might hear us. So what? Didn't you ever hear your parents having sex? Are you kidding? I've never seen my father without his shirt on. Right. She's sound asleep. We don't know that. Well, then let's go check. <gasps> See, she's not listening to us. She's busy. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Who are you? Hi, I'm Dharma. Sorry to invade your space. We'll just get to know you better over breakfast. No, no. Breakfast? <laughs> we have rules in this house. Oh, you're right. What was I thinking? Do you have a condom? <laughs> Dharma! Well, if they're planning on having intercourse... No one is having intercourse in this house. Well, you're right about that. <laughs> you. Shoegazer. Out. Craig. Here's your uh, jacket. Here's your skateboard. Oh, wait. Can I say something? What? Time's up. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Yeah, really cool. Can I, I see you, you upstairs? upstairs? <laughs> God, I can't believe you did that. I can't believe you just kicked him out like that. Well, it's better than handing him a condom and putting Charday on the stereo. <laughs> Charday. Okay, Barry White. Barry White? <laughs> Dharma, not everybody likes John Philip Sousa when they're making love. Oh, please! <laughs> the point is, we shouldn't be encouraging them. Greg, if they're going to have sex, don't you think it's better that they have it here? No. They should come up with a plan, sneak out, say they're spending the night at a friend's house. Oh, they should lie! <laughs> yes, and if they get away with it, they deserve to have sex. <laughs> that is so sick. No, it's Darwinian. The brightest ones get to breed. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm going downstairs and I'm going to apologize. Apologize for what? Jennifer! 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 The stuff's gone. Oh, man, she's split. All right, you stay here. I'm going to uh, throw some clothes on and go look for her. Uh... I got a condom. <laughs> No, Kitty, I didn't lose Jennifer. I just want a picture of her, you know, for my wallet. Okay, sorry to wake you. Excuse me? Uh, no, I don't know any Alice Penderwald. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Good luck. I looked everywhere. Uh, Stinky and Nunzio couldn't pick up the scent? Oh, they picked up a scent, all right, but only because they rolled in it. <laughs> Guess who I found in the laundry room? The laundry room? I'm wandering around the city in the middle of the night with Roly Poly and the urinator, and you're <laughs> hiding in the laundry room. Greg, please. <laughs> Jennifer, are you okay? I'm fine. 
Who hides in the laundry room? What are you, a sock? Are you done? Yeah. Good. Jennifer, you're running away. Really upset your fellow community members. Now, how do you feel we should handle this? Who cares how she feels? She has no say in this. Oh, so I suppose when we have children, they'll have no say in how they're raised. Oh, come on, Dharma. Do you ask Stinky and Nunzio how they should be trained? Well, as a matter of fact... No, no let's not get into that. <laughs> Jennifer, can you excuse no, us a minute? she doesn't have to leave if she doesn't want to. No, I want to. Okay, if that's what you want to do. <laughs> Dharma, she needs to be punished. Well, Greg, that's exactly what she wants. Then it's her lucky day. <laughs> Don't you understand? Jennifer gets into trouble because she's starved for attention and punishment is just negative attention. So true. <laughs> then what kind of attention do you suggest we give her? Well, I was thinking Jane and I are going to go Christmas shopping. As German tourists, of course. Of course. <laughs> so I thought we'd take her along with us. Wait, because she stayed out all night, she gets to go shopping? No, Greg, because she gets to go shopping, she won't feel the need to stay out all night. So what's the verdict? Dawn is taking you shopping as a German tourist, and let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> oh, like in Starken Sweater? Das ist nice in Puffenswetter. Ja, das sind warm in Puffenswetter, so auf Friesen Hooters. These are very expensive. May I help you? Ja, may I help you? Do you need some help? Ja, ja, Planet Hollywood. Party every night. Nah. out of town. <laughs> I'm very busy. Are they shopping? Eh, Kostenpuffenswetter. They want to know how much the sweater costs. It's $78. 78 dollars. $78 dollars. <laughs> Eleventy eight dollars in costing way too much in Das in Einel Donald Trump in Puffinsmith. They say it's a little pricey. Well, the sale table is over there. Cheapen sweaters here's in. Cheapen sweaters suck in much in. They don't like them. I got that. Uh, uh, Please, please, um... Is that polar bears are my lunch? I'm sorry? Polar bears? Polar. Polar. Vroom, vroom! <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Give me this. Um, kann ich dir helfen? Fräulein Poopin Mountain. We gonna make heat big and stick it mit the Überwasser. Your head. Yeah. Man, you guys are nuts. Oh, this is nothing. You should see Siamese twins who share a brain. Hey, that's my idea. Oh, it's my idea. <laughs> hey, I know what we should do. Let's go to Cinnabon as Siamese triplets. <laughs> right on. Wait a minute. What's this? Nothing. Did you steal this? Now what do you want? Steal this Puffin Sveta, this Kinderbraten. What? Schmack, 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 this little Wiener Schnitt. <laughs> Excuse me, I have other customers. Jennifer, tell them Stein. 
Hey, look. I'm sorry, and I feel really bad about this, but they stole this sweater. Nine, 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 nine. They stole nine sweaters. Enough. Does anyone here speak German? Yes, I do. Uh, please, ask them what's wrong. Ich heiße Martha. Wie kann ich Ihnen helfen? Gibt es ein Problem? Suchen Sie etwas? <lacht> Barfignugel? I don't get what the big deal is. The big deal is Jane and I had to sit in that security office and convince them that we were escaped mental patients. Well, if you hadn't done that stupid German uh, thing, uh, you would... uh, Stealing is way worse than faking German. Now scrub. Hey, what's going on? Oh, your cousin stole a sweater from the mall. What? Don't worry, I'm punishing her. By scrubbing the floor, it's a little Cinderella, don't you think? Yeah, that's where I got it. <laughs> After she's done with that, she's gonna sew me a ball gown. Aren't you? Dermot, can I speak to you in the hallway? Sure. First of all, I'm glad you've realized the importance of discipline. Thank you. But? But you don't pick punishments out of fairy tales. She, Greg, it's not like I locked her in a tower and made some guy climb up her hair. <laughs> Dharma, think back. How did your parents punish you? Well, one time I got sent to bed without meditating, but that's just because I threw a piece of plastic on a compost heap. Well, you clearly had that coming. So why don't we just ground her? I'd love to, but how do we do that? Easy. You just tell her she can't leave the apartment. How will that make her more grounded? <laughs> wow. Okay, follow me on I'm this. right behind you. Jennifer? You're grounded. Gee, Greg, if it was that easy, everybody would be grounded. <laughs> no phone, no TV, no friends. You're not to leave this house. Oh, yeah? Watch me. Hey, where are you going? Look, tell my mother I shoplifted. Tell my Aunt Kitty. I don't care. I'm out of here. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere. You are going to get grounded. <laughs> right? Close enough. What are you going to do? Watch me all night? Everything okay down here? Yeah. It's really late. You uh, want me to take over? Nah. Got my second wind. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I ask why you're sitting there? Because Jennifer said there's never anything good on TV. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I wanted to leave, you couldn't stop me. Oh, I'd bust you open like a can of those refrigerator biscuit things. All right, I'm just gonna go to sleep. Good, I'm glad you finally came to your senses. I'll go get you a blanket. Thanks. Don't even think about it. <laughs> What's that? Uh, it was either a bird or the guy upstairs who thinks he's a bird. <laughs> either way, it's dawn. What are you doing? I must greet the dawn. Hello, darling. <laughs> you are such a freak. And you are the shoemaster general. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Doing what? This. I mean, you don't even know me. Why do you care what I do? I'll tell you why. I will tell you why. <laughs> I will tell you why. What was the question again? Oh, wait. No, I remember. I care what you do because people should care what other people do. Well, people don't. Well, I don't care what other people do. <laughs> <laughs> but you just said that people okay, You should... know what? I haven't slept since I met you, so just give me a break, okay? <laughs> okay, well, 
Thanks for caring. Can I go now? Who's stopping you? You are so <laughs> weird. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. Get some breakfast. You wanna come? <gasps> yeah, you know what? Actually, I could go for some pancakes. How about... German pancakes. Oh, <laughs> oh. Is it my turn? Hold your horses. What, what are you doing? Oh, I made natural ornaments for everyone this year. Oh, that's ridiculous. You don't put pine cones on a tree. <laughs> Bigglestein, for the last time, keep your mitts off of my caboose. You said next time through the tunnel, I get to go. Hey, 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 what's going on over here? He won't let me drive the train. You're not going to drive my train until you take a urine test. <laughs> you two share, or the train's going back in the box and you'll never see it again. Oh. Stupid C. Hello? Oh, Kitty, it's for you. It's uh, Alice Penderwald. <laughs> oh, um, well, I'll uh, take that upstairs. <laughs> it's Jane. My idea. Very good. I'm proud of you. <laughs> now fork over the spiked eggnog. <laughs> 